and one person has died and another was badly hurt after a tree fell on a northwest Charlotte home on Friday morning. The tree came crashing down shortly after 5 a.m. on Brookway Drive. Medics confirmed that the fatality and that the other person was taken to the hospital with life-threatening injuries. Charlotte firefighters said children were in the home, but they were not hurt. The tree fell as impacts from Tropical Storm Helene ramp up in the Charlotte area. And another storm-related death was reported in Catawba County. A four-year-old girl died after a weather-related crash yesterday morning. North Carolina State Highway Patrol says a GMC Acada driving on Boggs Road crossed the center line and crashed into a GMC Yukon during heavy rain conditions. Two other children, ages 2 and 12, were then taken to the hospital with life-threatening injuries. That's according to WBTV. Both drivers and a third child were also hospitalized with non-life-threatening injuries. An initial investigation found that impairment was not a factor and possible charges are pending after the investigation wraps up. Now, Western North Carolina has also been feeling the hurt from Helene before the storm arrived in our state. One river in Asheville has been rushing toward Biltmore Village yesterday. And in Blowing Rock, roadways are covered and residents say they haven't seen flooding like this in years. The National Weather Service also confirmed an EF1 tornado just north of Blowing Rock Wednesday night. Governor Roy Cooper urged residents throughout the state to stay safe as the storm passes right here through North Carolina. And in all parts of our state where there is flooding, remember, do not drive through floodwaters. As I've said so many times, we've lost too many North Carolinians who've driven into floodwaters. So turn around, don't drown. Parts of some western ENC counties, including Buncombe and McDowell, have mandatory evacuation orders.